It's fall, y'all. Time for snack foods for everyone to enjoy. Hi, I'm coming to you today in edits to let you know that cheesy sausage balls can be made keto friendly. All you have to do is omit the Bisquick and instead use one and three quarters cup of almond flour and two teaspoons of baking powder. Quick, simple, easy, and keto friendly. My cousin Lisa tested this for me and said that it came out exactly the same as the regular recipes. It's tried, it's true, it's tested. Give it a shot yourself. Thanks for joining me today on Susan's Cozy Kitchen. Today I have an easy four ingredient snack idea that I think you're going to love as much as I do. The first thing you need, three cups of baking mix, two cups of sharp cheddar cheese, a pound of your favorite breakfast sausage, and a block of cream cheese that you have let come to room temperature. That's it. Preheat your oven to 350. If you're doing it in the air fryer, 325. And all you need is a parchment lined baking sheet to make cleanup easy. A stand mixer, just so you don't get worn out mixing all of this stuff together. And a cookie scoop. Makes forming those balls so much easier and cleaner than rolling them up with your hands. Let's get started. First, I'm going to pour three cups of baking mix into my stand mixer. Going to follow that with two cups of shredded cheese and I just shredded a block of my favorite cheddar cheese. Next the uh, roll of breakfast sausage. And an eight ounce block of cream cheese. I use regular, you can use low fat, whatever. Same thing with the baking mix, same thing with the sausage. Just pick your favorites and put them together. Paddle attachment. Lock it and turn it on. <laughs> Be very careful when you turn it on. <laughs> I'm just mixing this on low because I just want it to gently mix together and it has mixed together now. <laughs> Clean it off. If it doesn't want to mix together, you can add just a few drops of water, but if you're patient, most of the time you can get it all to mix together. And I'm purposely not saying the name of what I use because really you can use any baking mix the brand really doesn't matter this is just this is what my mom always used and whenever I think about making these if I'm going to the grocery store this is what I buy if I just on a whim decide hey I think I'm gonna make some sausage cheese balls today whatever I have in the pantry is what I use now comes the fun now the fun part I have a cookie scoop and I just slightly overfill it and onto the baking tray. And I don't like to crowd them. I like to give them a little bit of space so that they brown all the way around. I'll just continue doing this until I fill the whole tray. So the tray is full. I have 24 sausage cheese balls. 350 for about 12 to 15 minutes. Tip time. Two things I like about using the cookie scoop. Number one, it's a lot cleaner. Number two, they're uniform in size. It makes for a really nice presentation and they ended up going a little more than 15 minutes, but they are nice and golden in color and look and smell delicious. Just going to break one open and yes it is done inside so these are good to go now while we're doing this let's experiment some more 
The last time I made these, I did not have an air fryer. So I've never made these in the air fryer. Let's see how long it takes for them to get done. Air fry, 325. And let's try eight minutes. See how that goes. One thing, when you have this particular air fryer, you need at least five inches of clearance above and behind for it to vent properly. It beeped, so in they go. Air frying, eight minutes or less. I'm going to check these. The parchment paper is flying up so I can't see what they look like. So I'm going to pull these out. And they're not greasy at all. So I'm going to just take them off the paper, flip them over and put them back in for the last two minutes. I think I could have cooked them the whole time without the parchment paper and they would have been fine. These are not greasy at all. Okay, these are finished. Okay, they have finished cooking. I can't tell any difference between the ones that I cooked in the oven and the ones that I did in the air fryer. This one is uh, from the first batch that I cooked, so it's cooled down now. nice and moist. There's definitely the cheese. You taste the sausage. It's everything it should be. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And while you're there, make sure to ring that notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a video to YouTube. Thanks so much. God bless.